let the Trader Joe's wine obsession commence. You guys, hello, welcome back to the vlog. Look at you guys, this is what I see when I look at you. You guys are looking real good. Oh, oh. <laughs> to kick off today's Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Wait, you dropped something! To kick off today's cooking video, we are gonna be opening, well it's already open, a bottle of wine from Trader Joe's, a $9 bottle, thanks to Lisa Anderson. <laughs> Lisa sent Ali and I a little wedding gift on Venmo to snag some wines from Trader Joe's, as loved and adored by their former wine purchaser. And the first one is Kono from 2022, a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. Allie and I love Sauvignon Blancs from New Zealand. Started out on the Oyster Bay and have really graduated to a bunch of different ones. It's so crisp and just light, but like tasty as all hell. 13% alcohol by volume. I know Lisa agrees. Cooking is oh so much more fun with a glass of wine. See, this is why lists are great. Some lists, so stupid. Like, which Disney character? Now, I guess that's a quiz. I make lists all the time. For $9. I mean, Trader Joe's kind of the originator of the two buck Chuck. I'll take a nine buck white. What? I don't take notes. This is seriously so good. Mm, 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 mm. We'll put this off to the side for now. But today, if you're here for the food, I know you are. Instant pot, creamy shells and beef made possible. Tastes kind of like a twofer. Lisa taking on the donation for the drinking, and we got this person taking on the chewing. Let's give it up for Nancy Ramley. I love this Venmo, making the shells and pasta when you're ready. Oh, we're home from Montana. We're just chilling being married, and your boy, don't say that, Your hus the husband of the house is gonna make dinner. Don't ever say your boy, any you're also 36. So. Oh, we are grow up. Prep Sean, hard at work before this video, cutting up some onion. You can use a yellow onion or a sweet onion. The recipe for what we're making is linked below, so if at any point you wanna make this, you can. We shredded our Parmesan off the block, as you know I always do. We'll set that aside, we'll be using that later. Let's get this camera angle ready. Why did they program it to sing? Using the Instant Pot here today, much like Nancy, I am a big fan of the Instant Pot. Hitting it with a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna saute. Add in your full chopped onion. Then we've got our ground beef going in. While that browns, we white wine. What is wrong with me? Then we're gonna add our mixture of seasonings. We've got Italian seasoning, parsley, garlic powder, salt, pepper, crushed red pepper, and then a tablespoon of tomato paste, which earlier actually acted as my tripod, my little prop. <laughs> so use what you got in the kitchen. You don't need a tripod, just use a tomato paste. Tube. Stir everything together, get it incorporated. All right, calm down, old friend. You don't need to be so up in arms. Blow off your steam, blow off your steam. <laughs> this poor camera is just getting beat up, dude. Sorry. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna add our shells. The uncooked shells right in here. I got this new brand and I'm really excited about it. Shells. A whole jar of pasta sauce. I'm gonna use TJ's. The whole thing in there. And then also three full cups of water. Then you're gonna press the shells down into the liquid, but do not stir. Make sure they're all submerged to semi, semi-smerged. <laughs> push, push, push. Not stirring, just pushing. Cause I'm a pusher, Katie. I push people. I pushed myself into working three jobs. And now I'm gonna push you. Pressure cook on high for five minutes. 
According to this recipe, the pasta ends up soaking up so much more flavor cooking it this way as opposed to just boiling noodles and then adding two. I got five minutes, bad day to be a glass of wine. You know? So there's just a tiny to mid-sized bucket. Like remember Mr. Bucket? That was the only bucket I really thought would be the future. Now we got this bucket that's just got so much pressure. It's like a bomb. Just, it's all pressurizing in there and I'm just supposed to hope it's cooking my food right? <laughs> what? That's Mr. Bucket. He goes from a cartoon to a plastic. <laughs> The first person to get their balls into Mr. Bucket wins. Also, didn't live in a rich enough part of town where parents were buying their kids Mr. Bucket. So if you were someone that had a Mr. Bucket, stop complaining. You had a good life. We're all gonna run a Mr. Bucket. <laughs> Mr. Bucket from Milton Bradley. <laughs> My parents told me to go climb a tree and to be careful. Trees, nature's toy. Time for the most fun, but the most terrifying part about using an Instant Pot, the manual release. <laughs> and then we're gonna stir in three different things. We've got softened cream cheese, a full cup of shredded Parmesan cheese that we talked about earlier, and then a full cup of heavy cream. Oh, baby. The shells and beef have really thickened now, now that the lid's been off. It's looking, I mean, I'm delirious how excited I am. Thanks to the cream cheese, we're looking at just, I mean, obviously, a way creamier, kind of hamburger helper style pasta. I don't ever really buy shells either, and I'm, so I'm excited about that. We've been having a lot of pastas on this channel for this comfort food fall that we're having with noodles I don't buy enough. God, this just looks insane. Nancy, you did good, kid. Instapot, you were one fantastic little contraption, my guy. Little salt, little extra Parmesan for the look and the taste. Cheers again, y'all. Some Lisa, some Nancy, some all of us. Just having dinner next to our bucket. <laughs> Let's see what it's all about. It looks fantastic. It's all really come together and binded. Maybe I'll eat this with a spoon. World-class spoon. All right, let's see what it's all about, comfort food. Once again, recipe is below, L-E-U. Mm. Wow. It's like your heart put a winter coat on. Cannot stress enough how much they nailed it with the noodles having way more flavor because they're cooked in here with everything else. Wow. The heavy cream, the cream cheese, obviously. But that is such a nice balance of, uh, and there's not too much ground beef where you're not just eating spoons of ground beef. Wow. This is the Midwest in one bowl. It's so rich and creamy good texture with the noodles. Because those noodles are shelled, when you bite, you kind of get like both sides. You know, your teeth kind of go down on both sides. I know we're getting really in the weeds about how detailed we can be, but the Trader Joe's pasta sauce is really, really good. Mm. I don't know what else to tell you. It just, it just works. With the Trader Joe's $9 bottle of wine, we got ourselves a beautiful start to this week. Very, very excited for the comfort meals, the soups. Allie's been pitching me all these fun ideas that we're gonna do this fall and winter because we that's when we really start cooking consistently is when the weather dips. Hot wife, fun life? Hot wife, fun life. Ow. Injured wife? I'm obsessed with these shells. <laughs> Allie finishing her actual work day and this is what I'm doing. I mean, we're at work. Wow, I'm 
blown away by this. It really is so easy too, all being cooked in one pot. The flavor is so much more concentrated. Eating stuff out of bowls with spoons. What are we saying? Nancy, you nailed it again. This is just a must. This is going into the rotation. Shout out to the Kono. Shout out to you guys for watching. The Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal. If there's something you wanna see me make this fall and winter season, let me know. Excited to do it. Message me, hey Shawnee Land Instagram. If you wanna be friends and just DM, talk food, life, whatever. I'm here for you. This, this is a real thing to me. Don't sleep on shells. What the hell? What the hell? A little Sauvignon Blanc, a little creamy shells and beef. Perfection. The Instant Pot Creamy Shells and Beef Up. The Instant Pot Creamy Shells and Beef Down. I'm a little worried I'm gonna eat this whole bucket tonight. You put the shells in his top, Mr. Bucket. That's right, I'm Mr. Bucket. Be good to each other. Linger. Bing, live hanger. Live link, Bert Herkern. <laughs>